at last, though long, our jarring notes agree, and time it is when raging war is done, the smile that scrapes and perils overblown. My fair Bianca, bid my father welcome, while I with self-same kindness welcome thine. Brother Petruccio, sister Katharina, and thou, Vincenzio, with thy loving widow. Feast with the best, and welcome to my house. My banquet is too close, our summons up, after our great good cheer. Pray you sit down, for now we sit to chat as well as eat. Nothing but, sit. Nothing but sit and sit and eat and eat. <laughs> Cut. Padua affords this kindness, San Deruccio. Padua <laughs> affords nothing but what is kind. For both our sakes, I would that word were true. Now for my life, Hortensio fears his widow. Then never trust me if I be afeard. You are very sensible, and yet you miss my sense. I mean, Hortensio is afeard of you. He that is giddy thinks the world turns round. Roundly Ooh. replied. Mistress, how you mean by that? Thus I conceived by him. Conceives by me? How likes Hortensio that? My widow says, thus she conceives her tale. Very well minded. Kiss him for that good widow. He that is gitty thinks the world turns round. I pray you, what do you mean by that? Your husband, being troubled with a shrew, measures my husband's sorrow by his woe, and now you know my meaning. A very mean meaning. Right, I mean you. And I mean, indeed, respecting you. To her, Kate! To her, widow. A hundred marks my Kate does put her down. That's my office. Spoke like an officer, hath to thee, lad. Remio, these quick-witted folks. Believe me, sir, they butt together well. Head and butt, and hasty wooden body. Would say your head and butt were head in one. Hey, Mistress Bride, half that way in you. Aye, but not frighten me, therefore I'll sleep again. Nay, that ye shall not, since ye have begun. Have you have at you for a bitter jest or two? Am I your bird? I mean to shift my bush, and then pursue me as you draw your bow. You are welcome all. She hath prevented me. Here, Signor Tranio, this bird you aimed at, though you hit her not, therefore I held to all that shot and miss. Oh, sir, Lucentio slipped me like his greyhound, which runs himself and catches for his master. A good swift simile, but something currish. Tis well, sir, that you hunted for yourself. Tis thought your deer does hold you out of bay. Oh, ho, Petruccio, Tranio hits you now. I thank thee for that good, good Tranio. Confess, confess, hath he not hit you here? I hath a little galled me, I confess, and as the jest just did glance away from me, tis is ten to one it maimed you two outright. Now, in good sadness, son Petruccio, I think thou hast the veerest shrew of all. Well, I say no, and therefore for assurance, let's each send unto his wife, and he whose wife is most obedient, to come at first, when he doth send for her, shall win the wager which we will propose. Content, what's uh, the wager? Twenty crowns. Twenty crowns! <gasps> I'll venture so much of my hawk or hound. Good then. Content. A match, it is done. Who shall begin? That will I. Go, Biondello, bid your mistress come to me. I go. Son, I'll be your half. Bianca comes. I'll have no halves. I'll bear it all myself. <coughs> <coughs> what now? What news? Sir, my mistress sends you word that she is busy and she cannot come. Oh, oh she is busy and she cannot come. Is that an answer? And a kind one too. Pray God, sir, your wife sends you neither worse. I hope better. Sirrah, Biondello, go and entreat my wife to come to me forthwith. Oh, entreat her. Nay, then she must needs come. I am afraid, sir. Do what you can, yours will not be entreated. Now, where is my wife? She says she has some goodly jests in hand. She will not come. She bids you come to her. Worse and worse, she will not come. Oh, vile, intolerable, and not to be endured. See our Grimio, go to your mistress. Say, I command her to come to me. I know her answer. What? She will not. The foul of fortune mine, and there an end. By my Hollandane, here comes Katharina. 
What is your will, sir, that you send for me? Where is your sister and Hortensio's wife? They sit conferring by the parlor fire. Go fetch them hither. If they deny to come, swinge me them soundly forth into their husbands. Away, I say, and bring them hither straight. Here is a wonder, if you talk of a wonder. And so it is. I wonder what it bodes. Mary, peace it bodes, in love, in quiet life, in awful rule, in right supremacy, and, to be short, what not, that's sweet and happy. Now fair be hath thee, good Patricio, the wager thou hast won, and I will add unto their losses twenty thousand crowns, another dowry to another daughter, for she is changed as she had never been. Nay, I will win my wager better yet, and show more sign of her obedience, her new-built virtue and obedience, See where she comes and brings your forward wives as prisoner to her womanly persuasion. Catherine, off that cap of yours becomes you not. Off with that babble, throw it underfoot. Lord, let me never have a cause to sigh till I be brought to such a silly pass. Fie, what a foolish duty to call you this. I would your duty were as foolish too. The wisdom of your duty, fair Bianca, hath cost me an a hundred crowns since supper time. The more fool you for laying on my duty. Catherine, I charge thee, thee, tell these headstrong women what duty they do owe their lords and husbands. Come, come, you're mocking. We will have no tilling. Come on, I say, and first begin with her. She shall not. I say she shall, and begin with her. Fie, fie, unknit thy threatening, unkind brow, and dart not scornful glances from those eyes, to wound thy lord, thy king, thy governor, and plot thy beauty as frost do bite the meads. Unconfounds thy fame as wood would shake fair buds, and in no sense is meet or admirable. A woman moved is like a, a fountain troubled, muddy, Ill-seeing, um, ill-seeming, thick, bent of beauty, and while it is so, none is so dry or so thirsty. Will desire, or sip, or touch, or drop of it. Thy husband is thy lord, period. thy life, thy keeper, thy head, thy sovereign, one that cares for thee, and for thy maintenance commits his body to painful labor, to both sea and land to watch the night in storms, the day in cold, whilst thou liest warm at home, secure and safe, and could no other tribute at thy hand but love and fair looks and true obedience. Too little payment for such great debt, such duty as the subject owes the prince, even such a woman oweth to her husband. Yes. And when, when she is frat forward, peevish, Sullen or sour, it is not obedient to his honest will. Yes. What is she a foul, conceding rebel, a graceless traitor to her loving lord? Pure and shame that women are so simple to offer war for they should kneel for peace. Yes. For seek for rule, supremacy and sway. When they are bound to serve, love and obey. Why are our bodies so soft and weak and smooth, adapted to toil and trouble in the world? But that our soft conditions in our hearts should well agree with our external parts? Come, come, you forward, unable worms. My mind hath been as big as yours, my heart as great, my reasons happily more, and brand you word for word and frown for frown. But now I see our lasses are but straws, our strengths are weak, our weaknesses past compare, and seeming to most which we indeed last are, then vow our stomachs, for it is no boot, and place our hands below your husband's foot. In token in, of which duty he please, my hand is ready. May it do him ease. Dang. <laughs> I there, the wench. Come on and kiss me, Kate. Well, go thy ways, old lad, for thou shalt have. Tis a good hearing when children are toward. But a harsh hearing when women are forward. Come on, Kate, we'll to bed. We three are married, but you two are sped. Twas I won the wager, though you hit the whites. And being a winner, God give you good night. 
Now go thy ways, thou hast tamed a curse strong. Tis a wonder by her leave she will be tamed so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a very mean meaning. Right, I mean you. And I am mean indeed, Dang. expecting you. <laughs> I'll venture so much of my hawk or hound. <laughs> Pray God, sir. Pray God, sir. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a good witch. Oh, I couldn't find my line. Oh. <laughs> Formerly persuasion. And then I start with saying.